You play defensive back and you want more interceptions next year. This, I know, is a fact. We're going to talk about six ways you're going to make that happen next season on DB Tip Clips. I'm Chad Wilson, defensive back trainer and owner of AllEyesDBCamp.com. There isn't a defensive back alive that has more interceptions than he can do anything with. You never have enough, right? So I'm going to tell you today how you're going to get even more interceptions next year. I don't care how many you had last year. You're definitely trying to get more next season. And I'm excited to give you these six ways that you're going to be able to accomplish that when you go through this though i want you guys to comment and tell me which one of those six things that you're about to hear where you think you need to have the most improvement definitely want to hear that from you so hit me in that comment section and tell me where you need that improvement but you're not going to know unless you hear it so here we go here's the six ways you're going to get more interceptions next season number one is study the opposing team's offense before the game watch film to understand the tendencies of the opposing team's offense this can help you anticipate routes and better position yourself to make a play on the ball. Study things like the wide receiver splits and their release. Things like that mean something. Receivers don't just go and line up wherever they want. They simply can't do that. Specific places where they're going to line up to run specific routes on certain plays. They just have to do that. In your best interest, to know that and also make it a habit of studying the quarterback after all that's the trigger man quarterbacks are constantly seeking comfort this means they're going to have some tendencies and habits that are going to be hard for them to break they are seeking to be comfortable back there find those habits and use them to give you clues on exactly what may be coming and now on to number two improve your footwork no surprise there but good footwork is essential for a defensive back to keep up with a wide receiver and to be able to make plays on the ball. Focus on improving your agility and quickness. I do have a great article on this on my blog entitled Speed is Something But Not Everything. You have a chance, head over there. It's a great read. Efficient movement as a defensive back is a premium skill. While it's good to have straight line speed, if it does not come along with the ability to change direction, then it's really not that much of an ask. Don't rely solely on speed. Definitely put in the time and effort to develop your footwork, change of direction and efficiency in the most used defensive back moves if you haven't had a chance to yet definitely want to check out the video i have on this account entitled five moves that defensive backs must master master those moves i can assure you you're going to be able to make a ton of plays at defensive back the third thing you're going to need is to develop good instincts anticipate where the ball is going and be ready to make a play on it react quickly to the quarterback's movements and the receiver's route to make a play on the ball the development of good instincts comes from film study and practice and train. This means you're going to have to put some time in, but just know that time you put in pays off when you're in games and knowing what's coming before it happens. It's a tremendous feeling as a defensive back to sit there and know what's coming and actually have it happen. When it does happen though, don't doubt it. See it, believe it, and go. Number four is an underrated skill, but one that you're going to need to have. You're going to have to work on your timing. Timing is crucial for making interception. Learn to jump at the right time to get to the ball and disrupt the receiver's catch. And practice with a teammate or a coach to get a feel for the timing that's required. It's definitely a skill that's going to be developed through time and practice. However, it's one that you should not ignore as you're training. Being able to break up at the precise time, shoot your hands on a jam at the right time, or throw a hand in between the receiver's hand or breakup passes is a very valuable skill. I have a great video on this channel, Breaking Up Passes. Quite simply, it's entitled How to Break Up a Pass. Check it out. It's definitely going to help you with your time. Number five may be the most important of all. Stay focused. Crazy things happen out there. Pay attention to the game and stay focused on your assignment. Don't get distracted by the crowd or other players on the field. Very easy to get mesmerized by top players that you're facing. Don't ever put a wide receiver or quarterback on a pedestal. You put in the work, then you're a opponent has to earn whatever they get against you. They don't just get their yards and touchdowns simply because of who they are. So have no fear of an opponent when you line up. Forget about all the hype surrounding them. Also, when you're playing defensive back, what people in the stands who don't have the ability to do what you do think should have absolutely no bearing on how you play. Don't spend one second worrying about 
what they are going to think about anything that you do on the field. Your sole focus should be on your performance and getting your job done so you don't let your teammates down. What anyone in the stands or viewing the game thinks about it should have absolutely nothing to do with you. You're the one trained to do the work that you're doing and you're the one who has put in all of the time. Number six, communicate with your teammates. Let your teammates know what you see and hear on the field. This can help you guys work together to make a play on the ball. This is a very underrated part of the game. The best secondaries do this. The biggest difference between professionals and those in the categories below them is communication when they're out on the field. If you've ever had the chance to go to an NFL practice, one thing that's going to stand out to you is the communication that occurs on the defensive side of the ball. Most of that communication is going to be happening in the back end amongst the guys in the secondary. You definitely have to communicate back there so that everyone's on the same page. Safeties must talk to corners and corners you got to talk to safeties you guys can't be mutes out there the better the communication the better the success you also have to understand your role in each coverage but not just that you got to understand the role of the guys around you i go really more in depth on this in my blog i'm plugging my blog again i've got a great article on this in my blog hey you guys should really check this out you know they say reading is fundamental but those are the six things that are going to help you up your interception total this year i guarantee you if you make improvements and those areas you're going to have more interceptions this year than you did last year and there you go those are the six surefire ways that you are going to get yourself around the football and be in position to get more interceptions next year just make sure you have good hands when you get going to be around the ball don't be surprised ball's coming let's make sure we can cash the check when it gets there but you guys now that you've heard all six of these ways that you're going to get these interceptions tell me in the comment section down below which area you think you need the most improvement in all right interested in hearing that i like to hear from you guys and understand how things are going for you and where you need that room for improvement so go ahead and hit that comment section and let me know which one of these things you think you need to work the most all right i hope you guys like the video and i'm pretty sure that it's going to help you out so go ahead and give it a like and a share and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel let's get on that asap go ahead and hit the subscribe as well as the bell so you're notified the next time i put out a great video like this one also don't forget the great tools that i have for you so that you can reach the elite level as a defensive back first is my great ebook 101 db tips where else are you going to get great db tips like this and 101 of them go ahead and hit the link down in the description below get yourself the number one reference guide on defensive play out there 101 db tips and it doesn't get any better than the all eyes db camp members area over 200 videos on things like db tips workouts drills coverages explained everything that you need to reach the elite level as a defensive back you can find that in the all eyes db camp members area we're cranking out elite dbs as well as db coaches in that members area left and right also have a link to that down in the description below so you guys are all set up for your great season there are no excuses so go ahead and get that done all right thank you guys for watching and as always all eyes db camp consistency breeds results